Good morning. Uh, Sunday morning. Getting ready for church. Um, hush. Oh, this dog is absolutely ridiculous. Um, anyway, so um, last night after I took my caffeine boost, uh, which was a small cup of coffee. I didn't take capsules. I took a small cup of coffee. Um, I felt my blood sugar drop and I tested it and it was 112, right? Uh, for many people that would be high, but for me, um, ever since my diagnosis, when I uh, get below 130, I feel like I'm going to die, right? So it's crazy. Um, and what I did, actually, I was afraid I might bottom out in my sleep, so I made some um, organic brown rice and I had two bites, right? Now, um, the thing about it is that I wonder now if that... Um, caffeine or, or maybe coffee but I think caffeine probably I wonder if that's the key to pushing my body into autolysis I also um, was considering what I was talking about before with curcumin I know you can do uh, curcumin um, induced cell apo apoptosis which is uh, programmed cell death basically um, some things like cancers um, they have telomeres that last forever and uh, they don't um, ever die uh, until the host dies. The cancer doesn't die. In fact, in, in laboratories, we're pretty sure that we could keep a cancer alive just by feeding it for 10,000 years. So um, the immortality of cancer is something that uh, people have actually um, investigated to see if it might hold the key to, um, to human longevity. Well, um, in order to get cancer cells to die, you can use curcumin, which is a turmeric extract, um, and compounded by the bioenhancer piperine, which is black pepper extract. Um, curcumin uh, causes um, cancer cells to actually, um, it causes apoptosis, which is programmed cell death that they're actually lacking. So uh, I wonder if... Um, Another thing is when you're fasting, and I'll put a link to, uh, to these studies into, um, in the description, but um, when you're fasting, your body stops, um, it cuts down on the liver producing um, insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1. Um, and the reason why it does that is because IGF-1 stops your cells from... Um, uh, it kind of uh, pro prolongs the, the life of the cell and stops them from, uh, from uh, dying, from their, from their programmed cell death happening. So uh, when you're fasting, your body doesn't want that. You want to get rid of all the old cells and rejuvenate into the new cells. And so um, it stops producing that for a while. So I wonder if curcumin is a good thing while you're fasting to cause autolysis faster, maybe with a tiny bit of, of caffeine or maybe other CNS stimulant, I'm not sure. And then after you reach autolysis, um, you continue in the fast until you feel like you have um, detoxified um, to the point where you want to start um, eating again. And when you begin eating, maybe take um, large doses of IGF-1, and it would cause... Um, good fresh new growth uh, i'm not really sure we'll, we'll see where i'm going with this as you can see um, i am uh, feeling foggy i'm feeling lightheaded and weird uh, it's hard for me to articulate speech it's hard for me to put um ideas down and when it comes down to it um just the fast is, <laughs> is starting to happen uh, i'm in day number two um i just took my blood sugar oh it was 146 146 is high, so I'm back up there again. Um, I'm about to have my last cup of coffee for the fast, and um, then I'm going to take it again just to see if it affects my blood sugar. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so um, I did have uh, some coffee earlier, and uh, like I said, I was going to, but actually I could only get down about... Eh, maybe four ounces, maybe three ounces or something uh, before I started feeling very lightheaded and, and hot um, just from not having any food. Right? So I guess that's predictable. Thing is, I forgot to take my blood sugar right afterward, um, but I went to church and um, now we're out of church. So it's three hours after I sipped the coffee and my blood sugar is 154, which is not a, it means it's gone up a little bit. Um, I don't really know how that's uh, happening. Um, apparently, uh, one of my friends, Sadie, has uh, talked to me about um, 
during fasting, uh, apparently there's there's a moment when your uh, liver release, uh, uh, releases a bunch of um, glucose or something. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but um, I'll keep you all posted. And um, there are some more things I want to talk to you about, so I'll be back in a few minutes. And finally, it is 9 o'clock at night, and uh, my blood sugar is 121. So not... Um, not down to normal yet, but uh, this is the end of day two, and um, I guess I'll see you all in the morning.